I would not Please, be at all surprised. Clean and decent in the laundromat. I would not be at all surprised if I were to wake up one morning and read that Lynn Samuels has been exposed as having been an employee of the CIA in disinformation and propaganda for 25 years, <laughs> yeah, I'm whose, so job, and whose job here <laughs> is to be such a deliberate and palpitating pain that she turns great masses of people from the left to the right. I thank you very much. Let's go over to Michael Honey, in Queens. I've been Welcome. thinking you were probably a CIA agent. Actually. Michael, yes, your uh, turn. Harry? Yes, sir. Lynn, how you doing? Fine, thank you. I'm um, nauseous. Uh, I'm so nervous from listening to two, listening to the two of you argue. I don't know how I'm going to ask what I want to ask. Ed. But anyway, um, since there seems to be a major dispute on the legality of the invasion of Panama, um, I would like to know from you, Barry, um, could you give me like specific examples of U.S. laws and international law that made it legal? And from you, Lynn, I would like the opposite view. Specific laws or international laws that made it illegal. Well, you see, there is such a thing as... I, I would like to get to the bottom of this. Uh, no, right. no, no, I am, not, I am not saying I approve of the Panamanian invasion, and here is the article of the Constitution, here is the codicil of international law. I am saying exactly what this op-ed piece in the New York Times says today. When In, in our national anthem, in verse 4, it says then conquer we must when our cause it is just. They couldn't have chosen a better name for that Panamanian invasion than Operation Just Cause. You see, mm. the dictators of the world, the drug runners of the world, like the George murderers Bush. of the world, like for George far Bush. too long have been able to sit back in privileged sanctuaries and say, ha, 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 the democracies obey laws and they'll never lay a hand on us. They must get an occasional comeuppance like this. I wish they would get more. I, for instance, have no difficulty with the Israelis grabbing Adolf Eichmann on, on the streets of sovereign Argentina. Do you, Michael? Uh, I, I really don't know too much about well, that. Well, well I, I've told you everything you have to know. Israeli agents sneaked into Argentina, grabbed an Argentinian citizen, drugged him, bundled him into the cargo pit of an El Al airplane, and flew him back to Israel to stand trial, where he was convicted and executed. I have no problem with it. What, what, what was he, a terrorist or something? What? He was Adolf a Nazi. Eichmann, Adolf he Eichmann. Was a, he was a Nazi. He, oh, he was a, oh, oh, yeah, okay. He, he was in charge of the extermination okay. program. No, yeah, see, not everybody knows uh -huh. the whole history of World War but, II. But, but you see, I have respect for those like Michael who are interested in learning a bit here and a bit there. Michael, I have no... In other no, words, the, you know, the law was bent a little... The law may have been bent a lot, and I think that's going to be the linchpin of Noriega's defense. He may get free on that, but meanwhile, we have smashed another dictatorship, and you're not going to get me angry at the White House. No, me neither. Lynn, could you respond? Okay, to according to the New York Times a couple of weeks ago, scholars say that the arrest of Noriega has little justification in law. Some say that to find a direct precedent, you would have to go back 2,000 years to ancient Rome. Uh, these are uh, Bruce Zagaris, a Washington lawyer who's chairman of the American Bar Association panel on criminal law, said that the arrest was illegal. So you have all these legal scholars who certainly mm. know more than I do mm. who say it was illegal. And you can't just go into a country and say, well, I don't like you, and uh -huh. just invade the country. No, you can't go into a country and say, I don't like you. But when a country is as obviously guilty, and that will be demonstrated with no difficulty, uh, you must go in. Those who can, guilty of therefore, what? must. Guilty of drug running, guilty of guilty murder, of drug guilty running. of thievery, guilty of money laundering. You're going to find that's a lot of stuff coming out. That's this country you just no, 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 described. No, that, 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 that's the uh, Republic of Panama. And no, 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 no. Michael, at least you've achieved one thing. I, oh. you, you have forced Lynn to reveal that she does at least have some grudging admiration for scholarship. Uh, so in other words, when, I, when yeah, somebody it's argues to me, that it was illegal. Then I you can say that, that there are, well, obviously the... happened to me Saturday night. I couldn't get it through to this guy. My, my position. And he just kept on telling me. No, well, wait a minute, well, Michael. Michael. Sovereign country. When it, when it That's, sovereign country. Well, he's right. No, wait a minute, he Michael. Kept on telling, me, telling him that they had an election back in April. Right. And the government was voted out, and they voted in a new government. No, right. that isn't that true. Government. That's true. That is not yeah, true. Totally all not the true. votes, because it is a fact that all the votes were never counted oh, in the election. What, that what is not nonsense. nonsense. International observers agree that Endata was the victor. 
Yeah. All the votes were never yeah. counted. Michael, Something don't... Something that slipped by you since Michael, it happened less than 45 years don't ago. Don't feel... Don't feel that um, uh, illegal about things. You haven't lived during a, de a legally declared American war. The last legally declared American <laughs> war was the one that one hesitates to mention around Lynn because it, uh, it, it gives yeah, her you, heartburn. Michael, we've lived, and that's through, World war we've lived through all these illegal wars where we just ignore no, international no. law, rationality, and humanity and invade small countries and, thereby, and murder slews of people and for there, no reason. And thereby saved Western civilization until communism could right. collapse of its internal contradictions. Well, what did we save it? Thank you very much, Michael. For the, the dictatorship for the, of George for Bush. For the opportunity of democracy, George Bush's and others. This country Let's is go to Barry so in New Jersey. democracy. Don't think you can outshout ba Barry me. in New Jersey. How you doing? Fine, how Good are you? Good uh, afternoon. I wanted to ask you one question that you could uh, answer truthfully for me. Is the animosity between the two of you real? I wish I could say no to that. <laughs> yes, it is. I wish I could say it. I, I, I have zero animosity. Lynn apparently has some, but I'm the sure she's trying is, to work. I'm sure Lynn's trying to work it out. I I'm am not sure, trying to work I'm it out. I'm sure Lynn is going to go through the one ads and the village voice and find a guru on some mountaintop near New Paltz. And I'm sure Lynn is going to go into prayer, fasting, and meditation and come back to me Monday a little nicer. You I believe do. that, Barry. You I guys believe. really hate each other that I much. No, no, I the do not. The fact is, I if you not. would let me get a word in, <laughs> the fact is, is that I stopped listening to Barry Farber on the radio five or six years ago. Why is that? Because I found his political views reprehensible and uh, totally reactionary, totally reprehensible.